Hello everyone, welcome to a new reading vlog. So this week's reading vlog is sponsored by Skillshare. Thank you very much to them for working with me. So today is Monday, it's a new week. It's gonna be a busy week once again, as I have been recently. I'm just gonna be busy for the next little bit and then things should kind of calm down. But I've gone from finishing my edits to being in book miss mode. So I just took like a couple of hours. I feel like it took me a really long time to finalize my book miss schedule and it ended up changing a lot, but I will be doing an announcement video so I'll talk about that more then but I do have a little graphic out so I will link my Twitter thread down below for you guys to go and check out if you wanted to know more about book miss but this is actually the fifth year I'm doing it which I did not realize and that is crazy but I'm really excited to get filming and get it done and I will feel a lot better and a lot less stressed it's just like looking at all of the stuff that I have to do for it is always very intimidating but this week I'm going to be focusing on that on planning videos for for it and filming videos and all that fun stuff. As far as reading goes, I was reading Ninth House by Leigh Bardugo, but I put it down, not because I wasn't liking it. I just think it's too intense and heavy for me to be presently listening to the audiobook. So I'm going to wait until I have a little bit more time to dedicate to it. So probably in January is when I'm going to read this because I do need to read it soon because it is the next bookmark book of the month. But I am physically reading Frankly in Love by David Yoon. I'm on page 54, so I'm not very far into it and I haven't been able to really sit down and read a book recently so hopefully I'll be able to find some time for that and then the toll is the other thing that I had wanted to get to if I can start this audiobook this week that would be awesome but I don't know if that's actually going to happen because I'm so busy now these past couple of days have actually been really fun I did a lot of shopping so I wanted to show you guys some of the stuff that I got and then I also am going to show you guys some Christmas decorations a little bit later on in the vlog because I decorated my boyfriend's place for Christmas because I spent quite a bit of time here and I just felt like it would be nice to decorate so yeah it's beautiful I love all the Christmas decorations and everything but I I have done a little bit of shopping recently because what else is new that's just who I am but I got this scarf because it's starting to get cold we've already had a snowstorm but this is from the Gap I actually got it when I went to the States for a little bit but I like it because it's really colorful and my winter toque and my winter coat are both like black and dark so I feel like this adds a little bit of color to things and it's fun. So this is nice and will keep me warm. I also picked up a sweater at Old Navy. We were looking for Christmas pajamas because we do like the cliche thing where my sisters and my mom and I wear like matching pajamas on Christmas Eve. So we went to Old Navy to get those, but I also found this sweater, which I thought was really cute. It has just like the little polka dots on it, which I think is fun. And it seems like it's gonna be warm. And yeah, I'm excited about that. I also stopped by the Indigo that I used to work at and I got a few things, like just a few. So I got a discount because of this event that they were having going on. It's not because I used to work there, it was because of like plum and yeah, stuff like that. But I took advantage of it for sure. So I got a blanket that's actually downstairs, so I can't show you guys that, but it's like the soft, like it's wine is the color of it. It's a really nice Bordeaux sort of shade. But then I also got a couple of cookbooks. So you guys know cooking has been my jam recently. And this is one of the blogs that I have been going on because I get all my recipes off of blogs. So Half-Baked Harvest, is the blog that I've been on. So I got the original cookbook that she has and then I got the super simple one. This one just came out and she had been like Instagram storying this French onion soup and that's honestly why I felt like I needed this cookbook. But she has really nice like rustic just comfort food recipes. They all look really good. The pictures are gorgeous. I love cookbooks so I'm happy to have these to add to my collection because it's not a very big collection but if it ever does get big, maybe I'll show you guys the ones that I have because I don't think I'm gonna stop cooking anytime soon. I'm honestly just gonna grab stuff from bags. So I got a windshield protector because I park outside and this is supposed to like, it's magnetic and then you just take it off so then all the snow goes away. So this is like a, if you live somewhere where it snows or you're Canadian, you understand why this would be very convenient. I picked up Not the Girl You Marry by Andy J. Christopher. This is a romance novel that just came out and I remember seeing it around and I was like, this looks cute. Also, there's a French bulldog on it but I don't know what it's about. I'm really sorry, that's very bad, but like I will look more into it and tell you more about it when I actually like include it in a book haul. Next, I picked up 25 Days Till Christmas. This is by Poppy Alexander. This is another one that 
I don't know what it's about, but it was like a romance Christmas book. So I was like, yes, that sounds fun. Honestly, lots of impulse buys happened. I am the worst for that. I also got these little knock knock pads. So I got the all out of, which is a grocery one and then what to eat because I like planning out my meals and everything. These are for, you know, I'm obsessed with cooking. So yay. Next I got some art prints. So I got this lion. I actually got a few with the animals on it. So I'll show you those first. So I got the lion and then there's a hippo and they just have like flowers on them. They're so cute. The giraffe and then the cheetah. I don't know why I forgot what that was for a second, but I think that these are gonna look really nice, like hung like two and two. I think that'll look very lovely. I also got a couple of Christmassy winter ones. They have this on a plate as well that I was thinking about getting, but I only got this, but so lovely. And then this one as well has the bunny and then the cardinal and the little bear, very nice. I also got a snowman mug that I'll show you guys when I show you the Christmas decorations because I already have it out. And then I got A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. I don't know what these editions are actually called, but they are so beautiful and lovely. And you're supposed to discard this like plastic part after you buy it, but I don't want to mess this up. It's actually like cut like that. I don't know how to explain it, but it is so pretty. They have quite a few. They have Little Women. Uh, there was a Jane Austen. I think it was Pride and Prejudice. And then I can't remember which other ones, but I want them to do Alice so badly, obviously. And then the last thing I have to show you is I got Fox the Phoenix pop doll. I haven't bought a Funko Pop in so long, but like I love Fox the Phoenix. I love how he's just in fire and he's so cute. So I had to get it. So those are all the things I had to show you. So now I'm going to go and get back to work and get some stuff done because then I will feel less stressed about things. I'm so matchy matchy right now. It's wild ridiculous you can't even really see the color oh there you go there it is <laughs> hello everyone wow i went further than i had intended to so it's monday night i went to the gym which is why i have changed how many times am i gonna lift up my leg i don't know but i am making my way through my to-do list i have finished kind of scheduling things and figuring out some book miss stuff but now i'm just planning out some book miss videos so i'm hoping to have them all planned by wednesday so then i can focus on filming and then from there i'll focus on editing so we've got lots to do i am hoping to take a little bit of a break later and get some reading done since i haven't been able to read lately but i have a lot on this list so I don't know if that's actually going to happen, but I am going to try my best. I have, I think four more videos to plan out, maybe five, and then I have to do a thumbnail, and then I have to make a menu plan for the week. This week is just gonna be a big old mess of me like trying to figure out and coordinate my life, but like what else is new? But I just thought I'd kind of come in with a little bit of an update, but now I'm gonna get back to planning. So, you know how I was telling you about the mug that I got? Well made myself some coffee crisp hot chocolate in the little mug so it's a little snowman and he comes with a spoon oh wait i have to cover my nose too look at how happy he is i cannot but coffee crisp i don't think they have it in america but it's like a coffee chocolate bar but this is it in hot chocolate form i wanted something that was hot and could accompany me for my working because i like to have a hot drink while i'm working but i didn't want coffee because it's kind of late so this is my solution it smells delicious and I can't wait for it to cool down so I can actually drink it and the spoon was very helpful but now it is time to get back to work. Hello and happy Tuesday. So just a quick little car update for you guys. I'm waiting for my boyfriend at an appointment and just sitting here in my car but I was reading Frankly in Love by David Yoon which I've been working on for a little bit. I'm on page 60 and I'm just finding it kind of a drain to read, so I decided that I'm actually going to DNF it, which is really sad. I wish that I could have continued with it, but I just think the writing style wasn't really meshing with me. I don't know if it's because it, like, it seems like something I may have enjoyed if I had read it when I was in high school or a bit younger, but right now it just wasn't for me. I found that the storytelling was a little bit convoluted, so unfortunately I didn't like it but oh well it happens and a car drove by and is now parked right next to me so i will update you guys later wow do i ever look horrible nice so hello everyone and happy wednesday 
yes it is Wednesday so I'm about to put on some makeup and actually get to filming a couple of videos I don't know how many I'm going to be able to do exactly but I'm going to try and do as many as I possibly can before my parents go to bed at 10 p.m. because it's presently 8 p.m. and my schedule is all weird I'm kind of all over the place right now and I'm definitely feeling very overwhelmed for book mess because some things have changed in my schedule so I can't really film on certain days and like hmm, it's just a lot right now so I'm going to put on a face so then I won't feel so overwhelmed but I do have a package from Indigo here so I wanted to see what is in here so let's see I pre-ordered this I didn't even know that wow this is what always happens to me so it is Queen of Nothing by Holly Black everyone has been talking about this it is the final book I think of the Cruel Prince series or whatever it's actually called but I haven't even read Wicked King yet so like I have a lot to read wow so many sequels that's one of the things I want to try and work on in 2020 is getting to sequels but now it's time to put on a face. So I just finished filming two videos and now I'm going to actually try and film my book miss announcement, 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 announcement really quickly. I don't even know what time it is. I have like a little bit less than an hour to get some filming in so I think that I will be able to film that and then I'm gonna call it a day as far as filming. I'm feeling a little bit better about things. I figured out when I can do some filming that definitely has calmed me down but now I'm actually going to decorate my shelves really quickly so then I can film this announcement video. So I'm gonna do a quick time lapse of Christmas decorating! Yay! <laughs> decorated it took me a little bit because I was looking back at what I did last year because I thought it looked super cute but my shelves look kind of different this year so it was hard but like I did the best that I could I feel like I might move some stuff around but like I think it looks super cute I've got my North Pole Road sign Christmas tree my favorite this dude I hope you guys remember my little Christmas cr Christmas <laughs> Christmas wiener dog I love him he's so cute then I have another Christmas tree I don't know if that's like too many Christmas trees <laughs> I don't know I've got my little moose there with the long legs my countdown which is ready for me to film my announcement video and then I've got my light up Christmas tree that's one of my favorite things I've got a gingerbread house and a nutcracker this little lantern with a nut moose on it and then I've got a squirrel I have a fox and then I also have a little polar bear I have like so many little animal things so this stuff is really just staying here until I'm done filming for book miss then I'm gonna bring it to my boyfriend's house which I will show you the decorations for in a little bit actually it'll be like a second for you but for me I'm gonna finish doing what I was doing and then I will go and do that but now I need to film this book miss announcement video as quickly as I can so as you can see now my room's a mess so I'm going to clean my room and then head out but thought you guys might want to see a little room cleaning time lapse because those are fun. Also the cats keep coming in and out of here to help me. Ella's very happy in her bin right? Also also I'm going to be watching Lizzie McGuire while I do this so it's gonna be great but oh there's Luna. What's up? Cats everywhere. <laughs> Christmas! So I'm back at my boyfriend's house. I'm wearing this necklace which he gave me early. My birthday is next Saturday. I don't even know. It's November 30th but he gave me my birthday gift early and it is this Alice in Wonderland necklace. Like he did so well. I'm very impressed but it is just Alice falling down the rabbit hole. Like how cute and how thoughtful. I love it so much and it's just great. But while I'm here, I wanted to do what I told you I was going to do, which is show you all the Christmas decorations I put up at his house. Last time you guys saw the tree, it wasn't decorated, but we decorated it this past weekend and I love it. It makes me so happy. We're doing my tree at my house. I think we're getting it because we get a real tree. I think we're getting it on my birthday and then 
I don't know when we'll decorate it, but I'm very excited for that. I just, I love Christmas so much, as you're going to see with all the decorations around his house. So, let's go! I'm actually gonna save the tree for last because that's going to take me a long time because I'm going to show you guys some of the ornaments on it, but I will show you over here on this chair. This is the throw I was talking about earlier that I got at Chapters. They're so soft. It's the ones that are like $35 with the 50 purchase. I don't even remember. And I worked there forever, but I have that on this chair. And then I have this pillow from Pier 1. It is so cute. Look at the little wiener dog. I love it. And I wanted this last year, but I didn't get it. But like, look at this. Look at this. Oh my god, it's so much, but I love it. Oh, it like flashes very fast. Look at that light show. Wow, it does not take much. Let me tell you. But moving on over here, I have this little Merry Christmas sign, which I have on the floor right now. I don't know if I'm going to keep it there, but I literally just brought that today because I was going to put it on my bookshelves, but it's like the slightest bit too tall to fit on there. Then I have this little snowman that I got at Target. He is so cute. I love him. He just goes next to the TV and then I have this sparkly garland from Michaels that I put here and then pillow update so I showed you guys these pillows in the last vlog so we've got penguin pillow and then the sweater pillow and then the little dachshund pillow I love it those are all from HomeSense and then I brought this blanket it's like a cable knit throw that I got at chapters a couple years ago and then I have this blanket here which is from Target I just got this this weekend and it has poinsettias on it it's super super pretty and I like it a lot a lot of the stuff that I'm going to show you is actually from America because my mom and I went Christmas shopping in America this past weekend and boy did I ever go shopping. I forgot about the Christmas coasters. Someone got these for me I think last Christmas but there is a corgi and then a French bulldog and then a little beagle and they're so cute. I love them. I don't really have a lot in the kitchen because it's a kitchen but I do have this little reindeer dude. I forgot what they were called for a second. He's made of like pine cones and stuff but that is from Joanne Fabrics. Then of course there's a wreath on the door. There's a wreath on the outside and the inside so there's this wreath here which is from michael's and i love it because it's like little light bulb balls i don't know i love it and then the one on the back of the door is from target my mom has one of these from target from a long time ago that's rainbow i'm obsessed with it but i do also really like this one then on the table i have these placemats that are also from pier one they have the same scene of the puppies and the cats and all that that is on that light up pillow so i have those around the table and then there is also this little little gift which lights up as well but I don't have batteries for it so that's just like the try me thing but it is also from Michaels and then over here there's just a fake poinsettia that I brought from home I got that at Michaels a couple years ago I think and then this little pom-pom garland which I got at Target didn't know what I was going to do with it but I kind of wish I had gotten two because over here do 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 it would have been nice on the bookshelves but oh well so now for the grand finale the christmas tree so we've got the changing lights and i don't really know how to change the setting to make it not change maybe let me see if i can do that this is my boyfriend's cat who has just been hanging out under the tree it is her favorite she loves it wow okay so i thought i was changing the setting so then it was all white but like oh my god oh my god why no that's horrible okay there we go so i changed it to all white so then it will stay so i'll show you the ornaments a lot of them are new and a lot of them are from joanne fabrics they had them all on like super sale and then I have some Disney ones that I got last year and then I have some from Target I'm not going to tell you where all of them are from or else we would be here forever she is having so much fun under here so I will just show you all of them like there are so many ornaments on this tree. Oh my gosh. Actually, I'm going to put music over this part because I feel like that will be more fun. But this garland is from Joanne Fabrics. I didn't get enough, so it's only really on the front of the tree, which kind of sucks. The star on top is from HomeSense. And then these little bells that are throughout, those are from Target. And then the tree skirt is from Walmart.
tree there are some ornaments that are from pier one i kind of forgot about that and then a couple from like random places the lights keep on flashing i'm not exactly sure why like it's a brand new tree don't really understand i need to maybe tighten parts of it but i think i showed you guys all of the ornaments maybe when i do my christmas 24 hour readathon i'll give you like an actual tour and kind of talk about them because there are some that i want to talk about i love them so much it makes me very very happy but i actually need to do quite a few things still today because yikes honestly that's my like eternal mood right now so I filmed a bunch when I was at home and now I need to do some more planning for bookmas videos I either want to finish today or tomorrow and then I actually have to start editing this vlog and do some stuff for that but most of my big things are done and they're just things that I have to do tomorrow I'm planning on editing all the stuff that I filmed today so I'm going to get to doing some work she's been laying here like this for like 10 minutes and I don't think she has any plans of going anywhere anytime soon what a life to live Wow. Happy Thursday. So before I close out this week's reading vlog, I wanted to take a moment to thank our sponsor for the week, Skillshare. So in case you guys aren't familiar with Skillshare, it is an online learning community with tons of different courses. I've worked with them a couple of times now, and that's because I really love what they do. I love extending my education beyond school, and they definitely let me do that. And they have a ton of courses in different topics as well, which I think is awesome. So I have been taking the creative writing courses in particular, and there's actually actually one by Saba Tahir, the author of An Ember in the Ashes, which is so cool. So I've been taking that course. That course is called Writing Authentic Fiction, How to Build a Believable Character. And I think that's something super important to take into account when writing and definitely something I was looking at while going through my edits. And this course has been very helpful with kind of knowing what to look for and how to build those great characters. Because I love character driven stories. So this is a great course to help with that. But beyond creative writing courses, there's also courses to help you with business business, your lifestyle, productivity, things like that. Honestly, there's something for everyone and whatever you're looking to improve. So Skillshare is kind enough to be giving away a free two month unlimited access trial to my subscribers who click the link in my description box down below. And then after the trial, it's only around $10 a month, which I think is worth the investment. So thank you very much to Skillshare for sponsoring this vlog. So clearly we have a comfy little lady here. Like she is just sinking further and further <laughs> down. I don't even know what's happening. But I hope you guys enjoyed this week's reading vlog. I'm gonna wrap it up here and I will see you next week with another one. Bye!